Okay, I have to admit, I'm kind of torn about today's events. Part of me is French. I mean, Beaulieu, it's a French name. I'm from French part of Canada. You know, I have ties to England, and I've got very strong ties to Scotland. However, today's election, I'm sorry, I was, this may sound crazy, I was for an independent Scotland. I was for a yes on Scotland being its own country. The reason for that is, for the past, what, 374 years, roughly, this has been Scotland and England. Hey, we're going to tell you what to do. Oh, we screwed you over. We're going to keep telling you what to do. I mean, Canada got its own, its own freedom from, from the British Empire. And, you know, I know a lot of it was fear-mongering, you know, it's like, I mean, you know, oh, you lose all this, you lose all that. But come on, historically speaking, Scotland was its own country, so was Ireland, so was Canada. And it's not as if Great Britain would have gone into this horrible decline. Really? If you're that, you think 5.3 million people would cause Great Britain to go into decline? Come on, be realistic. Great Britain didn't want to lose Scotland. Why? Because it's the taxes, it's the naval base, it's the oil. Why people in Scotland didn't see this? I mean, you could have had your own country. It's not like it would have happened overnight. It would have been a good thing long-term-wise. But you know what? It's not over. I know people like myself and people in Scotland are still going to say, Hey, you know what? Ireland could do it. So can Scotland. And it's not as if Scotland would say, Okay, well, we're not going to be part of the Commonwealth anymore. Really? I mean, here, hey, hey, to our friends in Great Britain, do you really think it's better to have an ally who's forced to be an ally or a friend who'll work with you? Think about it. And I know some people are saying, oh, but you're from Quebec. That means you're for an independent Quebec? No, I'm not. There's a difference for that. Let's put it this way. Ireland, Scotland, Great Britain, we're all, and, and so were Wales, were all their own countries. Historically speaking, Scotland was its own country. So was Ireland. Now, Quebec was never its own country. Quebec, historically speaking, is Canada. It's where Canada starts. So how can you separate Canada from Canada? You can't. You really can't do that. But Scotland, historically speaking, was its own country, and it indeed needs to be again. So yes, I am for an independent Scotland and not for an independent Quebec. It may seem hypocritical, but it's not. Canada is one giant country. It always started in Quebec. It always will be. Canada starts in Quebec. Scotland was its own country and should be its own country again. The same thing for Ireland. I think Ireland should be united, one Ireland, and that's it. Great Britain, the United Kingdom, is an old empire, folks. The Spanish had an empire, the French had an empire. It's time to realize for the 21st century. But uh, I will say this. Okay, yes, the no side won tonight. Fine. But as any true Scotsman would say... Look what happens. We threaten the English and they give us more power. And it's true. Great Britain gave up a lot more power to Scotland. Why? Because they were threatened by Scottish people saying, Shag off. So, in some ways it's a win-win anyway. Okay, we didn't get our independence, but we did steer the plot. So to our friends in Scotland, congratulations on steering the plot. Congratulations on getting more power for yourself. But my grandmother said she'd love to see an independent Scotland. Well, she didn't, she'll never see it, but I want to. So I'm all looking forward to it. I'm also looking for the day that people in Quebec stop yanking about being independent. Quebec being independent is like taking the marshmallows <coughs> and chocolate out of a s'more cookie. Yeah. It just wouldn't taste right. Who let's, wants to eat just Let's just put it this way. Uh, Quebec being independent would be like, okay, we're going to have, we're going to take New York State and separate it from the rest of the United States. It doesn't work. Okay, you know, Jacques Cartier for our French, fr our friends in Montreal, our friends in Quebec. Jacques Cartier didn't land in Toronto. He didn't land in Newfoundland. He landed in Montreal. You know, Montreal was the first capital of Canada. Think about that. You can't tell me that the British monarchy, hello, hello, we're actually from German stock, hello, took over Scotland in a fair democratic way. They didn't. So yes, today is an important day. People in Scotland made their voices t t told, hey, we still want to be part of the UK because we're kind of scared. But at the same time, too, a lot of them are saying we're tired of it. We want to have our own power, our own responsibilities. And it will probably happen. And like, <coughs> like I said, in the meantime, all everyone in Scotland can celebrate because you know what? Now the English have to pay you more attention. So uh, it's not the wait before I open up this bottle. But this one might get opened up tonight anyway. We'll see you guys next time.